Today's session is on triplets, and I'm not gonna be playing a piece for you. I'm gonna be only working on rhythm. So whether you are using the Alfred's Group Piano for Adults book and you're following along with that in class piano, or if you just wanna work on being better at doing the triplet rhythm, this tutorial is for you. So just at the very basic level, a triplet looks like three eighth notes all beamed together. How do we know whether we should treat them as eighth notes or this new triplet rhythm? How do we know the difference? Well, on top of those three eighth notes, what appear to be eighth notes, is the little number three. So that is telling you that you should treat this rhythm as a triplet. So in common time signatures, such as four, four, three, four, two, four, you're gonna see a triplet pattern perhaps. The triplet would be three small notes that span the length of one beat. So we've done eighth notes before, each eighth note equaling half of a beat, one and two and three and four and. So that's not as difficult. When we get to triplets, we've gotta fit three notes inside of that one beat. So let's take it from quarter notes to eighth notes to triplets and let you hear how that rhythm functions. So I'm gonna do, let's say uh, four, four times. So we'll have four beats in each measure, four quarter notes, four pairs of eighth notes, four sets of triplets. Okay, so here we go. We'll say one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two eighths, two eighths, two eighths, two eighths. Triplet, 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 triplet. So that's how that works. One beat, dividing that into twos, dividing it into threes. You notice when I said triplet, I chose to say it as triplet. I know that's not really how you say triplet, but many of us musicians, we kind of put that extra syllable in there because it helps us have a syllable to match for each of the three notes. Triplet, triplet, triplet. Uh, you can also say it as beat number then triplet, like one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Whatever way works for you is fine, as long as you can keep a steady beat with that. If you're practicing along with this exercise on page 86, you might look to have a metronome to have a steady quarter beat as you're doing it. That way you know that the overall beat structure is not speeding up or slowing down as you're adding in the triplets. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead here and work with you through some of the exercises on page 86. If you're following along without the book, um, I can describe to you what we're doing very quickly. So exercise one, we're using patterns of quarter notes followed by triplets here. So this is our four measure pattern. I'll give us a count off of, I'll just say uh, one measure. So you'll know where to start and then we'll go on together. So here is page 86, number one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two triplet, three, rest. One triplet, two triplet, three, four, one, two triplet, three, rest. So that time around I did the beat and then the word triplet, one triplet, two triplet. All right, let's go on. On number two, we're gonna use alternating hands shown by the down stems and up stems. So I'm gonna do this with the overhead camera so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I think I'm just gonna do it on top of the piano here. So even if you're not a pianist, you can follow along. All right, any flat surface will do. We're just gonna be using the hands here. Exercise number two, page 86. One, two, three, go. Left right three four one two three four triplet right left right left together two triplet together together all right continuing on so on number three we change meters to three four time and noticing this time there are no triplets what the co uh, composer what the authors of this book are trying to do uh, is to have you see the three with a triplet, and then in this meter with two four, they're choosing not to do a triplet. We're just focusing between eighth notes and sixteenths primarily. So this is just kind of a review of some rhythms that we've done a little earlier. All right, so here's number three. 
one and two and one and two e and a one and two e and a one e and a two e and a one e and a two and. So you notice on the second measure that we have this pattern of two sixteenths followed by an eighth. So I was choosing to count it as one e and a. Uh. I didn't clap or tap on the a, uh, the fourth member, but I held it. So it'd be one e and a. Uh. So at the very smallest level, you could count it that way. If you're a little more comfortable with counting and thinking of it in the big picture, you could just count by eighth notes. So for example, measure two and three, I'll do those together. You could count one and two and one and two and. So you hear that division one and, and two ooh, and. So either way is suitable, whatever works best for you. All right, number four, we're moving back into three, four time and using those triplets again. All right, so on the tabletop here or the top of your keyboard, uh, one, two, and three, and one, triple at three, one, and triple at three, one, and triple at three, one, and triple at three, one triplet, two triplet, three, and one, and two, and three, and. So part of this uh, exercise is learning how to count and how to adapt as you're going along. So that's why I'm taking the time to read through all of these with you and give you some strategies I hope that you can find helpful. So on um, this fourth exercise, we have several moments where it's just a quarter note. Notice that I'm counting one and on the quarter notes. The reason is when we're going back and forth between quarter notes and triplets. Triplets are obviously a lot busier than a quarter note, so it's very easy to take, for example, the first measure and go one, two, three. Oh, that went kind of fast. Sometimes it comes out like this with students. One, triple, let three. One, triple, let three. So it's like I, on those quarter notes, I hear students, they'll kind of speed up. Oh, it's just a quarter note, no big deal. And then we end up shortening the rhythm. It should be a full beat there. So if you're practicing with the metronome, which I always suggest, I would at least set the metronome on a quarter beat so you feel that full steady three beats every measure. When I'm counting out loud without a metronome, I tend to count one and on quarter notes here to make sure that I don't accidentally cut that eighth, uh, excuse me, cut that quarter note a little short. Okay, so lastly we have uh, exercise five. Exercise five does not have the triplet rhythm that we've been looking at in two, four, and three, four, etc. But notice that this is in six, eight time. So you still see three eighth notes paired together, beamed together. Look here at measure three, or actually the second full measure. You see the right hand has three eighth notes. However, because we're in six, eight, we're not gonna call those triplets in the usual sense of three notes equaling one beat. If we're in six, eight time, three eighth notes equals three beats. So I just, they're trying to show you those compare and contrast, depending on what meter you're in, what time signature, three eighth notes can mean different things. So in this case, it's not the traditional triplet equaling one beat. It's functioning as each eighth note equals one beat. So let's go through this. Uh, lastly, on exercise five, notice that we're beginning on an upbeat, a pickup. So the first notes there, the eighth note by itself, that's not a full measure. So that's gonna count as beat six. And you'll notice the final measure of this exercise has five beats, but it's missing beat number six. Beat number six is here at the pickup. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, and we'll come in together on the sixth beat. All right, if you'll join me. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, left. One, two, left. Together, two, three, four, five, six. Together, 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 four, five, six. One, two, three, 
four, five, no beat six. <laughs> All right, so you can work through those. We're getting into more advanced, um, or at least more variety of meters and how we're treating different rhythm patterns. So I hope me going through all of these exercises was helpful to you as you work through eighth note triplets. Have a wonderful day at the piano and give this video a like if you found it helpful to you. See you next time.